Another day we just kind of hang out, see the sights, and uh, relax before we go climb the mountain. And this is not a street, this is Ungara. Ungara. Okay. Yeah. And we are on the back road now. Pangani, we're going down to Easley, right? Easley, yeah. We're going down to Easley later on today. And we got the fabulous Rasta. This is Rasta. <laughs> Rasta taking care of us. Yep, looking out. And seeing the sights. Hot 90. That's something I noticed too. There are no speed limits. And the lanes are like a loose guideline for where you should drive. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, yeah. So I thought New York drivers were uh, aggressive. So this is the this is the boss of East Lee. Uh -huh. The pillar. Yeah, you take him away, you see him fall down. Eagle Musa. So we saw uh, uh, Eagle Musa. Yeah. So we saw uh, East Lee. Uh, East Lee's yeah. cool? I gotta get some pants. So your sister last night. Okay. okay. The uh, tamales come from all the uh, Okay. There you go. A hostel. I found it was a hostel. They all come by and say hey. Everybody comes to East Lee's shop. So it's real crowded right before Christmas. Yeah, it's nice Christmas Eve, so it's real crowded. We were had to bring him down here, Mohammed, to see the real Africa. Where's your papa? Where's your lover? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get some pants so I can blend in. Nobody has shorts on. Let me show some people this. They might think you're in Somalia. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, nah, see, this is why NASA didn't want to come down because he didn't want to deal with these roads. No, he does, you know, also. Huh? The other reason he wanted to come down is 
Hit him up for money. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I gotta be careful with the camera because I got grabbers here, but they said uh, I'm a bigger guy, so I don't gotta worry about that much. So look at the roads. Look at the commerce. Yeah. You see that commerce? Yeah. I told no. I, no, I told them uh, see the this, is, this is where they all come for for Christmas shopping. Yeah, everybody's making money. Everybody, everybody, everybody in Africa is here. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, Crazy place. So you spent a bunch of time in Eastleigh? Ben, I was here before. It was we, different? Oh, it was much different. It was very, very quiet. Yeah, but there's mostly old men sitting around with card tables playing uh Chesa Haraka. Dominoes. Chesa Haraka, right? Yeah, let's get some tea. I'm about to get some tea. I, I think uh, the tea that they drink here is growing on me quite a bit, so I'm kind of excited. So, Muhammad, you're staying now? Yeah. You're here for good? What did you say? I said you're here for good? I'm here for good. Now, he was, you were in Denmark? Uh, in Sweden. Sweden, you're in Sweden too. Okay. What was this guy like when you met him? It was uh, seven months ago, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, just seven months? <laughs> I met okay. his brother when I was here. When yeah. I was here the first time, I guess you were gone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but I met his brother, Mahadi. Okay. Yeah. I was doing for about 17 years. Okay. He was away. And I'm back in I've been here four years. Okay. Zay means, uh, Zay means old man. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good old man. It's a, it's a respectful Simple term. Zay. So they don't become a big city. Very well developed. Why? Because British people actually, when they come to West Africa, they found the Nairobi, the Kenya people in Nairobi, and Nairobi are surrounding the world. Very peaceful place. Peaceful. And they can get they start made the place as the headquarters of so many other countries which they live in. For example, Aden, which was in Aden. Actually, British was using Kenya as a base. And then Tanzania, when British took over from Germany, the central became Kenya. Uganda, central became Kenya. Sudan, also, everything should be done in Kenya. Then we back. Something like a good headquarters, okay. Like okay. Yeah. yeah. So the British like the place, the, the climate, the people, and the people were very willing people. Everything they told to be done, they're doing it. <coughs> so they made the place to be a capital. All right. After that becomes the Second World War. The Second World War, then Kenya becomes very high. Actually, it becomes the center where all the armies was coming to Kenya, Nairobi, and then from Nairobi they go this direction, they attack Italians, and they go this direction, Alamein and West Africa, uh -huh. to attack the Germans from, from Lib Lib Libya and Libya. Libya. <laughs> in the desert of uh, Egypt. <coughs> so being a headquarter here, it comes like a headquarter, it comes 
uh, industry. And it becomes uh, what you call uh, where everything people get from here. That's center.